Salesforce CPQ interview questions and answers. Q1. What is CPQ? Answer. CPQ stands for Configure, Price, Quote, Configure, Configure Product Bundles, Eligibility, Availability, Price, Perform Automatic Price Calculations, Apply Discounts, Perform Approvals, Quote, Manage Quote Life Cycle, Create Proposal Documents, Convert Quote to Orders. Q2 what are product rules in Salesforce CPQ? Answer. Product rules in Salesforce CPQ ensures that the correct product is displayed to the user. There are four kinds of product rules. Validation rules. Confirms that a quote's product combinations or quote line field values match predetermined conditions. Selection rules. Automatically adds. Removes. Hides enables or disables options in a bundle filter rules pre-filters the products available to add to a bundle alert rules guides and informs through messages during configuration or pricing q3 what are price rules in salesforce cpq answer Price rules in Salesforce CPQ automate price calculations and update the quote line fields. Price rules contain price conditions to calculate accurate price during the quoting process. Price rules inject a static value, field value, or summary variable into a quote or quote line field. For example, create a price rule so that the quantity of maintenance kits in your quote is always twice the quantity of that quote's printers. When a customer changes the printer quantity and saves the quote, Salesforce CPQ activates the price rule and updates the maintenance kit quantity. Price rules can target the configurator or the quote line editor's calculator. If you target the calculator, you can set the calculator evaluation event field to apply the price rule. Before calculation, after calculation, during calculation, or during any combination of the above three. Q4. What are product bundles in Salesforce CPQ? Answer. Product bundles are products with optional features or components that you want to include on a single quote line. A bundle product contains several records. 1. A bundle parent. The parent product is the bundle itself. 2. Options. These products in the bundle contribute to the bundle price. You can consider these children of the bundle parent. An option doesn't contribute to the bundle price if you select its bundle checkbox. 3. Features. A feature is a group of options. You can use the min options and max options fields to define selection restrictions for objects in the same feature, such as pick one or more or pick three or five. Four. Option constraints. Use constraints to control how users select options together. Five. Configuration attribute, a field and pick list shown above or below the list of product options. This field targets all options containing the same field and applies its value to all those fields. First, choose a product to represent your parent, and at least one product to represent a bundle option. After you create your options, features, and constraints, associate them to the parent via related lists on the parent product record. Q5. What are product options in Salesforce CPQ? Answer product options are individual products that users can select from when configuring product bundles. Q6. 
What are product selection rules in Salesforce CPQ? Answer. Product selection rules perform an action in a bundle allowing automation of a bundle configuration. They contain a set of conditions and a set of actions. They can be used to automatically select or deselect product options of a bundle, or enable or disable them, or show or hide them. Q7. What are product validation rules in Salesforce CPQ? Answer product validation rules ensure that the data a user selects meets certain standards. These contain a condition to be met and an error message. They can be used to ensure that the configured bundle is valid. Summary variables can be used to see if conditions are met. These rules can target either quote lines or product options in a bundle. Q8 what are product pricing methods? Answer. Product pricing methods allow you to apply various discounts or markups to customize pricing on your products. Q9. What are price actions? Answer. When your price rule meets its conditions. The rule applies its price actions to a target field. A price action sources the value from a summary variable, formula, user-defined value, or other quote line field and sends that value to your target field. A price rule must have at least one action. You can have several actions that target the same field, or several actions that each target a different field. Q10. What is guided selling? Answer. Guided selling recommends products to users based on answers provided by the users during the guided selling process. A guided selling process contains these components. 1. Quote process. This object defines how the prompt appears and how it adds items based on user input. 2. The quote process record contains a related list for process inputs. These records are the questions and possible answers that the guided selling prompt shows. Each process input represents one question. Three. The process input record contains a related list for process input conditions. You can define process input conditions so that the guided selling prompt only shows the process input only in response to the values of other process inputs. This feature is useful if you want to create a complex guided selling prompt that guides users down several paths based on their needs. It also keeps your guided selling prompt organized by showing only required questions. Q11. What are multidimensional quoting? MDQ, products. Answer using multidirectional quoting you can show a fixed price subscription product in the quote line editor as one quote line broken into segments. Each segment represents a unit of time, quarter, month, year, or custom, and has pricing and a quantity independent of the line's other segments. We call these products multidimensional quoting, MDQ, products. They are useful if you want your sales reps to have detailed control over pricing specific units of time within one subscription. Q12. What are subscription products? Answer. Subscription products are services that run for a set period such as a year-long support service. Salesforce CPQ automates pricing, prorating, and co-terminating subscriptions on contracts and renewals. Q13. What are usage-based products? Answer. Quote and price your products based on predefined rates for future consumption of the product or service you are selling. The price scales alongside usage, reducing initial purchase barriers and driving higher revenue. 
you can configure your units of usage and set up different pricing rates based on usage volume. Q14. List some of the pricing methods available in Salesforce CPQ. Answer. 1. Block pricing. You can price a product based on several different quantity ranges, called block prices. When a sales rep adds that product to a quote, Salesforce CPQ checks where it falls in the quantity ranges and prices the quote line accordingly. 2. Cost and markup pricing. Set a price based on its cost plus a markup amount, rather than list price and discount. 3. Batch pricing. Price component and accessory bundle product options by static amounts based on quantity ranges. 4. Contracted pricing. When sales reps create a contract, they can use quote line prices from their original quote on future quotes within that contract's account. This process, known as contracted pricing, is useful when your sales reps have negotiated a price for a product and want to continue using that price after making a contract. Salesforce CPQ uses the negotiated price on new quotes, renewal quotes, and amendment quotes. Q15. What are summary variables? Answer. Summary variables. Sum, average, min, max, count, summarize number field information about products into a single object called a summary variable. You can reference a summary variable in price conditions, price actions, product rule error conditions, quote term conditions, and other summary variables. Summary variables can be referenced in 1. Price rules. Use a summary variable as a tested variable or filter variable in a price condition. Use a summary variable as a price action source variable to update quote and quote line fields. Two product rules. Use a summary variable as a tested variable or filter variable. Three. Quote terms. Use a summary variable as a tested variable. 4. Summary variable. Reference a summary variable in another summary variable's variable element field. You can take the results of your aggregate function and perform another operation on them using the composite operator and the variable element. www.salesforcestart.com